In this video, we're going to show you how to place photos in InDesign, specifically for an output to the Risograph printer. So I have my finished piece with my spot channels here, and you can see what they look like um, as color separated channels. I'm going to make sure that they are in fact the Rizzo swatches and not just random colors, because um, that's going to be important when we drop it into InDesign. So you're going to save this as a Photoshop DCS file, which is going to actually save as an EPS file. And you want to preserve those spot colors. Hit save. Click through. And we're going to take it over to InDesign. Go up to File, down to Place, find that EPS file. And open it. And you can see it's preserved your spot colors. And I have mine organized with the photos on one layer. You can add text or you can add little additional drawings, but you want to make sure that these are also using the same spot colors. And if you have not downloaded the spot colors yet to InDesign, you just go up to the little menu bar and click load swatches and you can download those swatches from our Blackboard page. So now I'm going to print. That's how you um, prepare a risograph file. You're going to make a postscript file and if you have uh, another printer installed at home like a personal printer that's okay to print to that as long as you're printing to this uh, generic postscript printer. Um, you're going to go through your normal checks of size but this is where things are different. You want color separations turned on in output and you want to turn off all those additional spot colors that you won't be using. I'm going to click through, make sure that's everything, and hit save. Go ahead and save this. You notice it's a .ps, that's a postscript file. And we're going to have to go and open this up in Acrobat Distiller. If you don't have Acrobat Distiller, it's included in your Creative Cloud and just download it to your own computer. You want to see in the Adobe PDF settings, you have it set to press quality. And once it says status ready, that means that your file has been processed. You can just double click on it. And here we have our color separated document and all of our sunflower elements from both our Photoshop and InDesign documents have combined onto one plate as have the black colors as well. And just a side note as I know some of you really like to use Illustrator, especially for a simple one-page document like this, um, but we found that InDesign tends to deal with this transfer of colors from Photoshop or from another document much better than Illustrator. So even if it's a small file, even if you're not making a full book, I would highly recommend that you put your photos into InDesign and use the InDesign print output menu.